Welcome back, Seth Bling here. There were quite a few features hidden in the 12W39B snapshot, and I'm going to go over a bunch of them in this video. Uh, the first one is a major oversight in my last video about potions and custom potions. I failed to mention that they can have multiple effects. Here's a potion that has all the effects of a super notch golden apple. Uh, regen 4 resistance, fire resistance for the right amount of times. So yeah, you can have multiple effects. You could do something like having a strength 2, but you also get slowness and hunger for 10 seconds. Uh, here's, what is this? Haste 4, speed 3, weakness 4, nausea. So you're super fast, but you're weak and nausea is annoying. <laughs> but uh, So there's, there's really cool stuff you can do with this. <clears throat> so I've updated the, the modify potions filter. So that the first time you use it, it basically overwrites the effect of the potion. And then any subsequent times you use it on the same potion, it'll add more effects. And so you can download that, download that from the video description. Command blocks got a couple updates. Uh, here are some new arguments. The L and LM arguments. L means maximum level. LM means minimum level. So if you look, my level is 2. The green number above my hot bar. My level is 2. So... Uh, this is going to find everyone who has at least level 2 and at most level 2 and say hi to them. So, there we go. Hi, Seth Bling. Uh, there is a new command. So you can do XP, instead of giving yourself 1 XP, if you put L, XP 1 L, you can give yourself a level. And now I'm level 3. It's not going to say hi to me anymore. You can also give yourself negative levels or give any player negative levels. So, if, say I, could, I wanted to do this. Taken two levels from Seth Bling, now I'm level one. I still shouldn't get it triggered. Nope, okay. But then, give Seth Bling one L. See, whoops. Uh, give one L, Seth Bling. <laughs> give one L, whatever. Ah, okay, I'm using give, right. <laughs> there we go. Level two. And now it says hi again. So, this is actually an extremely useful feature. Uh, for instance, in a PvP map, like, say, Team Fortress, you could label all the blue players with level 1, label all the red players with level 2. Uh, game rule, keep inventory true. So now I've turned keep inventory on. If I kill myself, I still have those two levels. So since you keep them, you'll, you'll keep that tag forever. And so then you could teleport all the, all the blue players around by teleporting around everyone who has minimum level 1, maximum level 1. Or you could say everyone who's on a particular team by just doing basically exactly this, what I've done with this command block. Very, very powerful for tagging teams if you're using that keep inventory game rule. You could also use it to, um, yeah, as sort of a purchasing system so that, you know, if you're at least level two, it could take away two levels and teleport you somewhere. Stuff like that. Uh, there's some pretty cool stuff you can do with this. So I'm really excited about that feature. I think probably the best use of it is, is the team thing, but there's there's other stuff. Uh, there are also minimum maximum ranges. So R is maximum range. That's the same as it was before. RM is minimum range. So in this case, this command block is going to say to hi, say hi to anyone who is at least three blocks away and at most four blocks away. So I've marked that out with the red. So if I'm too close, it won't do anything. If I'm too far, it won't do anything. If I'm on one of the red blocks, it does. And I figured out that it, uh, like, if I'm a little bit over the red here, it's going to say hi to me. If I'm a little bit not over the red anymore, it won't. So it basically calculates it based on what block you're standing on. It's not, uh, it's not as precise of a computation as it could be. So anywhere in this red... So that's kind of cool. You can have a ring or you can have, you know, you could just use the minimum range. So if you don't want to affect people who are close to a command block, then uh, maybe you could have like, you know, beacons that you're trying to get to. And and if you get to them, then you survive. Everyone else gets teleported into lava or something. Anyway, uh, that's, that's a pretty cool effect. That's definitely going to be useful for some people. Okay, there's some changes to spawners. You'll notice I'm within 16 meters of this spawner, but it there's no fire, and it's not spinning or anything. So that's because I've set the range of the spawner to 5. It only detects players within 5 meters. If I get that close, it'll immediately spawn that pig. Uh, I've, I've customized the spawner so that it has a very short spawn time. So if I kill this pig, I'll get another one very quickly. But I've also set the maximum number of entities nearby to 1. So basically, the way spawners normally work is it looks nearby, and if it sees 
well, for a normal spawner, if it sees six six entities of the type it's trying to spawn, so if there were six pigs nearby, then it wouldn't spawn anything. But I've modified this one using some of the using one of the new features in the snapshot, so that it looks for just one pig. If there's one pig, it's not going to spawn anything. So as soon as I kill it, it'll spawn a new one. This would be really great for having like a boss mob uh, that you only wanted one of at any given time, or you know, there's there's other uses. So. Uh, you could also um, increase the number if you want to spawn more entities than six. So that's a really useful tool for map makers. And just very neat. Uh, yeah, so the range, this, this one has range of five and it's going to stop spawning and stuff. Very cool. This is, this is stuff I've been looking forward to for a long time. There's a lot you can do with mob spawners that you can't do any other way. There's a lot of entities that you can spawn in whatever. And... Being able to customize the range just gives a lot of options to map makers. I've used these properties to update my statue maker filter that I showed in my quarter million subscriber video. Uh, before it had to go slow because if it spawned, tried to spawn more than six, uh, six falling sand entities at the same time, it would kind of have problems because, uh, you know, after, after it spawned six, then any more wouldn't get spawned, but I fixed that. I've also fixed the, the maximum range, so um, even though I'm more than 16 meters away from all those spawners, they're going to spawn falling sanities here. And so what that means is I can break any of these blocks, and every 10 seconds another pass will come through and just completely repair it. There we go. Very, very cool. This is... I, I mean, I can't even fathom the possibilities that are, po that, that, that are now possible because of this. It's just insane. <laughs> uh, custom maps, whatever. So, yeah, I've updated the statue maker filter uh, that, that that basically creates these spawners out of these blocks, and so you can download that from the video description. I've also updated my uh, set spawner properties filter that you can use to set the maximum entity counts and the player detection range on spawners and like I said I also updated the modify potions filter so you can get those multiple effects. Very very cool features in the new snapshot. Uh, thanks to Dinnerbone for letting me know about them and listening to me <laughs> when I requested a lot of them because a lot of these ha have been uh, requests of mine just because there's they're just such simple changes to make for a developer but they just impact the game so much. So. I'm really excited about playing around with these. I'm going to be updating my Team Fortress map for uh, to have take advantage of some of these effects. I'm not I'm not sure that I'll be using the level the level effect immediately because I'm not sure it needs it right now. But I'm definitely going to keep it in mind if I see if I can add any cool features with that. Um, but it definitely has potential. I have some I have some ideas for maps that can definitely use that. So hope you enjoyed and learned something. And thanks for watching.